Hi, my name's Kat McDowell, and I'm a singer-songwriter and origami teacher here on YouTube. I post music-related videos, origami videos, and the occasional vlog, so if you'd like to see more videos from me, make sure that you hit subscribe, hit that bell button, and you'll get more. Let's get folding! Today we are doing a fall pumpkin. I've done a 2D pumpkin in the past, but this is a 3D pumpkin. It's going to be in two parts. So first, you know, you're going to create a hexagon shape and then we are going to kind of inflate it a little bit like the paper balloons. So we are starting with a square piece of paper. Um, it can be orange or it could be white or any other color you choose or even green, green pumpkins. Um, and you're going to start with six by six or seven by seven inch piece of paper is what I have. And put the colored side down and you're going to fold it into half into a pyramid. You make the bad times better under your umbrella when it's pouring all around. You make the bad times better. Take the corner and fold it in half again. You know me and only you can make me smile when I am feeling great. You paint the skies a bright blue. I'd be so lost without you. Every little thing you say blows the heavy clouds away. You make the bad times better. Open it up. You make the bad times better. When I'm under the weather, you're my favorite. And now we're just gonna make a marking, but take this corner up to the top, the right corner up to the top corner and just mark it right there. You don't need to fold all the way. And once you've got that marking, now bring the top corner to the place we made the marking and make another marking right there. So we have these two markings. So in order to make this valley fold, it's really important that you put your finger where that red, that first red arrow is, and then you're going to need to pay attention to where we made the markings. So put your thumb or your finger right there in the center to just hold the piece of paper down and guide the, um, the rest of that side so you can bring it over and then you're going to match the first marking to the second marking. So just slide it over. Again, secure the center there with your thumb or first finger and slide everything over until the first marking meets the second marking and it's a straight line. Everything should be straight. Right. And then secure that crease reinforce that crease. Now it should look something like that and this is really important. <laughs> it's really easy to miss. You might need to go back and watch it again and that's okay. Uh, now I flip it over to fold the, the other side. The other side should be easy once you have that first marking and so I just flip it over and make the other side match the line that I just creased. It should be equal and match up perfectly like that. Now we want to um, to figure out where we want to cut. So again, we're going to find the points where the paper meets, find the point where it ends there, and then fold it back. Just copy what I'm doing with my hands and do everything really slowly so that you get all of these really straight, rigid, precise lines. See, that one wasn't precise, so I'm just going back and fixing that. It should be precise and equal. 
Once we have that line, we know where to cut. So get your scissors and cut all that excess off. I'll just sit here with you. Once you cut it, it should look like a perfect triangle, which then folds out into a hexagon. Amazing! Okay, so I'm going to pause this next section to explain what we want to do. All of these points are going to be mountain folds, which means that they're all going to fold over. Then all of the sections in between are going to be valley folds, which means they're going to fold under. Once we're done with these folds, it's kind of going to look like an umbrella, like an open umbrella that you're looking at from the top. Some of these are already mountain folds, so I'm going to start with the points. I already have uh, two sets of mountain folds, but there is one here that is a valley fold that should be a mountain fold. So let's just fold it over. We're going to fold it in reverse, turn that valley fold into a mountain fold, and now all of these points are mountain folds. Now we're going to create the valley folds. So how we're going to do that is we're going to bring these points together. Just fold them over like that. And now we're creating some new valley folds. Just fold it in half. Open it up. See how it folds under? Spin it over, point to point. Make sure it crosses the center line. And we have another valley fold. Oops, is that one too. That one also needs to be a valley fold. It's not quite a perfect hexagon there, is it? <laughs> okay. Now we are going to, again, fold it up kind of like an umbrella. Let's just even it out so there's three, um, there's three flaps on each side. Now we are going to fold all of these points up along that line. And so again, put your finger on the center, what I'm doing with my right hand, and then bring the side up to the center and reinforce that fold. Do it on the other side. Reinforce that crease. Now flip the page over. We're going to do this again. Bring the side up. Once we've done all of these, we're going to start folding the points into the center on either side. Fold these in.
flip it over and repeat. One last time on the last two remaining flaps. This is where it's going to get very small and finicky. So we're going to fold, um, there's two pre folds before we tuck this into the pocket. So we're going to fold once directly down and then once diagonally. So I'm just showing you these lines first. We fold down like this once and then just fold it over again like so. We will do this on all the other sides too. So the other side, fold down directly. Straight down and then diagonally over like that. This will mean it can fit into the pocket perfectly once you fold it over. But you might need a pen or maybe like a toothpick or something to make this work. My fingers have a hard time getting this in here, so I'm getting a, a pen with a sharp point to it. I'm that pocket up and then guiding this flap into that pocket right there. Push it in, squeeze it. Double folds really help to keep it together once you blow air into it. And we're going to do this with the other sides too. So you can just watch this again. Another shot to a blow to my story The lines I'm rehearsing Don't wanna be boring All the voices keeping me up till the morning How am I walking? What am I wearing? If I'm honest it can get a little exhausting Take a step back and That last one was having a bit of <laughs> A bit of trouble there I'm 
just keep trying. And now we are done! This is the fun part. This is where you get to blow it up. <laughs> so find the, uh, the side that has a hole in it. I'm just blowing into it now. Should inflate. I hope you enjoyed today's origami lesson. Remember to subscribe if you like these videos and please, please tag me in your photos if you ever post them. I'd love to see them. I also make origami live on Twitch, so come and hang with me over there. I'd love to see you. If you want to hear more of my songs, there's a playlist here. If you want more origami tutorials, there's some right here. And lastly, I want to thank my Patreon supporters. Their generosity allows me to do what I do here on YouTube. So thank you, thank you.